Well, G. Raleigh White's is officially closed for business. Crews started this afternoon getting the building ready for its demolition in mid-August, all part of the $450 million Kyle Field renovation project. The building has stood on the A&M campus since 1954 and housed plenty of athletic and social events. KAG's HD News reporter Chris Vallejos shows us what the building means for one Aggie coach. Standing in G. Raleigh White Coliseum, you'd never know it was once called the Holler House on the Brazos. Now it's a dark, empty arena. But if the walls could talk, the stories they could tell, especially for Aggie head volleyball coach Lori Corbelli. A lot of becoming a coach, the coach that I learned to become and a lot of people in my life that are still really important to me were in there with us during all those years. Coach Corbelli became head coach of the Ags in 1993. G. Raleigh White housed the ladies from 1975 until 2009 before the volleyball team started playing home games at Reed Arena. The bleachers were so uh, steep that people were just on top of the court, literally, and it felt just so much more intensely intimidating for our opponents, I think. Ironic, because the Coliseum is now a casualty of the Kyle Field renovation project, which aims to make Kyle a more intimidating place to play with more than 100,000 seats. But even when it's gone, the place that hosted basketball and volleyball games, along with Elvis and Aggie graduations, will never be forgotten. When I left it for the last time, uh, I felt a pit in my stomach, you know, and I was a little bit shaky because I got to share a lot of that. And it really is starting to even, you know, every day it seems to be coming back to me more what that place really meant for us. Soon that's all the building will be, a memory. Chris Vlahos, KAGS HD News.